What you guys, today we're taking a look at the risks of using Windows 11 Lite or Windows 10 Lite. And you can see this one here is called Rectify 11, and this is the Rectify 11 installer. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this version of Windows 11 Lite. And I'm going to go through and tell you some of the pitfalls of using some of these uh, versions of Windows 11 that you find on the internet. Now this goes for Tiny 11 and a bunch of other Windows 11 lights and also, also a ton of Windows 10 light versions which I've seen floating around on the internet. Now a lot of YouTube channels promote uh, these versions of Windows saying they're awesome uh, to use and they're awesome for gamers and uh, things like that. But they don't talk about the uh, risks of using these and the security risks and other things like that. So we're going to go through all of the pros and cons about Windows Lite versions. Now, remember, one of the biggest things to remember is Microsoft do offer a Lite version themselves, which has all of the uh, bloat ripped out of it. And I've made videos on that in the past. So if you're looking for a legitimate version that works, then try Microsoft's uh, Lite versions of Windows because you won't have any of the issues that you're gonna have when running these versions of Windows Lite. Now we're not picking on any particular version of Windows Lite. We're talking about all versions of Windows Lites that have been made by people themselves, custom ISOs that have been made. I've made them myself and there's always pros and cons to uh, creating your own. And there's also pros and cons to actually using a version of Windows Lite. So I'm gonna get this installed on the system and we'll go through and take a look at some of the things that you can expect when you're getting versions of Windows Lite off the internet. So one of the biggest problems I see with people using other versions of Windows Lite is you have no idea of what code they put in here or what applications, whether they've used cracked software or software that changes the Windows operating system files and then you have to pause updates, otherwise it will brick the system. This is why you'll see updates paused until 2050. This is the reason why uh, people will pause updates is because they don't want to update Windows in case it breaks their operating system. When you create your own version of Windows Lite, it's going to literally change the operating system files. And soon as you do a feature update or Windows update, normally this will brick the system or break the operating system. And these are important things to remember because if you want to stay safe, you're going to have to update uh, the version of Windows with the latest security updates. Feature updates are feature added features that they've added to the operating system. So what you're getting here is basically a very nice looking operating system that's had you know, a lot of icon changes and a bunch of other stuff changed on the system. Now, of course, this means they have to patch the system to do this. And by patching the system, this is what's going to change the operating system files themselves. So they're now not Windows files anymore. They're these patched files which they've added in so they can add their own uh, icon packs and feature, uh, feature packs like um, themes and things like that to the actual system. Now, of course, you don't know what the person has added to the actual uh, ISO itself. So when you're installing it, it could come already pre-patched and things like that with all the patches to remove certain things. So just bear that in mind when you're using things like this. And again, it could come preloaded with software as well, which could be cracked software. So you just have to be mindful about what you're getting into and have a good read of the description if you're going to uh, install. ISOs from off the internet from strangers that have created these. You have no idea of what they're putting in them. Now, that's not to say that this version is bad and it's got loads of crack software in here and loads of dodgy stuff on it because I'm not picking on any one particular uh, ISO here. We're talking about the actual uh, risks of using these particular operating systems that people have created on the internet. And they've uploaded them somewhere and you download the ISO and you go and install it onto the system. Now you'll see a bunch of patch software on here, which means it has patched uh, the operating system. And again, 
that's a, a bit of a risk. So what other risks are there? The publisher of the Windows 11 Lite version or Windows 10 Lite version may not release updates and bug fixes for their product that they've released because now it's not a Microsoft product anymore. You've taken out all of the features that Microsoft have offered you in their operating system and you've fixed it with your own fixes. And you can see here, they'll tell you a bunch of fixes and bugs that's going on. And you can end up with a lot of bugs, even more bugs than what Windows has already. So therefore, be aware that uh, Windows 11 Lite or Windows 10 Lite is run at your own risk. You won't have any support. You're not going to have anywhere to go to uh, try and get fixes for issues that you might be having with this particular installation because the creator is not going to be there at your beck and call 24 7 fixing your problems for you. The next thing we're going to be talking about is items that have been removed that you may need. You have no clue of what they've removed from the system and by removing key components from the system will obviously cause bugs and other issues. You can see Windows Defender has been ripped out of this version of Windows. So that means you're going to have to install a antivirus on here anyway, unless you're going to use the computer without an antivirus software. And that is super risky in 2023, let me tell you. You're going to get people telling you you don't need antivirus software. You do. And the problem is, if you have it ripped out of Windows, it then becomes unstable. And then you end up with problems when you start updating and other issues like that. So it can break the Windows updates feature. Now, some of these are super lightweight. They've had so much ripped out of it that basically it's running on a bare shell. And, you know, really, you won't be able to do much with that operating system like update it or use it in a normal way because now you've taken out major key components. This is the system resources for this particular one. But bear in mind, we are on a virtual machine here, which will impact this a little bit. But you can see the stats on the screen for the CPU and for the memory usage here. So you could say that these are designed for old potato machines that people are using uh, for gaming and things like that. Now, I've seen people on YouTube, uh, some guy from Australia, ripping out so much stuff from a build and literally to get more FPS and more stability when gaming. And he's rocking a Ryzen 9 and a RTX 4090. I mean, it just don't make no sense. The system he's using is super powerful and you would not need to worry about half of the stuff that's inside Windows 10 or Windows 11 that's going to impact your performance. So coming down here and looking at the released 3.0, the version I'm running is 2.0 here. So I'm going to go through the process like they tell you to do. And we're going to go ahead and we'll patch the system again with the latest version. You get to choose a bunch of different features. But remember, a lot of this stuff can be done separately without using their version of Windows. You can actually uh, do this yourself, downloading uh, certain patches software and running it on your own system. I wouldn't advise doing it, but that's basically what you can do. So choose which way you want to go, Windows 10 rounded or Windows 11 default. And then you can put in the check marks here for Windows 10 taskbar and a bunch of other tweaks that they've added to this. And you can go through and install themes. And you can see here, it's going to patch the system because it's going to replace those operating system files so it can change all the uh, themes and icons and things like that. And you can see it doing a bunch of patching here. I'll speed this up, but it's patching quite a lot. So we'll get this patched on the system. And sometimes by doing a lot of this stuff, things become really buggy and you can end up with problems just like this one here by installing it, it froze. And we've got a white screen and a bunch of other stuff going on. And it's patching the operating system files. And this is exactly what can happen when you're doing things like this. So I restarted the PC and managed to get it working. But these are the sort of things that you're going to run into. And don't go run into the person that's created it because in the terms and conditions, it will say use at your own risk. So now we've got the patch added to here. It does look quite nice. Got a nice wallpaper and a bunch of other little bits and pieces added to our system now. So let's go ahead and we're going to do a Windows update here. And, uh, and I guarantee you it's probably going to break the system or it's not going to work. 
And this is what a common problem is. You can download them and then they fail to install or they end up rolling back. And this is because sometimes it breaks it. So you don't know whether it's going to crash your computer or you're going to end up with issues with it. And you can't update Windows. Now, even if you could update Windows, the problem you're going to get is once you start updating, it becomes useless because Windows Update will reinstall all of the services that you removed. It's going to patch the system back to the way it was before, which is a Microsoft system. So you will need to do a block Windows updates, which is not a very good thing if you're looking for a stable uh, system, which has a lot of bug fixes. And you can see here straight away, after I rebooted, we could not install this update. Uh, try again. And this is because they've tampered with it so much that it's actually uh, broken the Windows updates. And you have to ask yourself, what is all this for? Is it for FPS, just to get a few FPS? Is it to get rid of bloatware? Well, if you want to get rid of bloatware, there's easier ways to go about removing bloat without removing major components from the operating system. You're never, ever going to remove every bit of telemetry and bloatware from a, a Windows-based system. There's going to be stuff buried so deep in there that you're not going to be able to remove it. So let's go ahead and open up the program, and it does state here that you can uninstall it. So we'll just go ahead and we'll try and uninstall. And lo and behold, it's not letting you uninstall it. It's, it's not working. So now we have a broken system. We can't update and we can't uninstall the software. And now that means you're going to have to back up all your stuff and reinstall Windows. Because if you want to go back to a default system, you can't because you've now got this on there. And this is the problem uh, with a lot of this sort of stuff. So people will go off and download these Windows uh, ISOs with light versions in them created by other people. And again, you should be creating them yourself. At least that way, you know what you're taking out and you can take out the features that you don't want if you want to use a light version of Windows and you want to create your own. An easier way is just to use a Windows 10 Lite LTSC version, which has uh, Microsoft has done it all themselves. You can update Windows and it won't put those parts back in because it's a legitimate LTSC version. Now, I'm pretty sure the majority of people that are using these are using older hardware or older potato computers that are really super old. And they're wondering why they're getting input lag and, and jerkiness and micro freezes and micro stutters. And that's because you're using older architecture with a, a modern day graphics card and it just can't keep up with the demands so they go off and tweak the registry and use an operating system that's had all the guts ripped out of it and of course it will lower memory usage and also utilization on the system but as soon as you start putting all your applications on and your antivirus program and things like that it's going to basically uh, make that go up memory usage will go up uh, and you know cpu usage will go up and things like that it's just the way it is for older systems like that. The only real way of getting performance at your system is by, you know, upgrading from mechanical drive to an SSD or an NVMe drive, upgrading your CPU, upgrading your motherboard and upgrading your RAM, basically building a brand new computer and bring it up to the modern age and uh, you will have a better experience. People are still gaming on, you know, first and third gen processors from intel and you know you wonder why you're having issues so what do i recommend well i recommend you use the microsoft ltse versions which are the lighter versions of windows it's had a lot of the bloat taken out of it like cortana and stuff like that and uh, you know go ahead and use that at least you can update it properly without it breaking and again uh, you know you have a longer uh, life support for that operating system as well so that's what i would recommend rather than uh, using some strangers one off the internet now if you want to create your own you can do uh, just be mindful about what you're taking out uh, don't take out too much and end up breaking the system you know you want a functional system but obviously a, a lighter weight system but the more you start taking out the more you're going to end up having to run in the risk of uh, breaking things steer clear of all the ones that are like one gigabyte in size where it's had just everything ripped out of it because obviously it's just a shell and you're going to end up with problems you won't be able to update it it's not going to be functional and you're going to end up with more bugs and problems uh, than you had with the original version of windows anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video has been some sort of use to you just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members i appreciate the support i shall catch you in the next video 
or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a nice day. Bye for now. 